ran off with your bitch. I just ran off with your hoe. I made the bitch snow a blow. I now my dick up in the throat. You cut the bitch when you slow. I put the bitch up in the road. I can never cut a hoe. You know how this shit go. I'll give a shit, I don't cut the bitch. Ooh, I just ran off with your bitch. I just ran off with your bitch. I just ran off with your bitch. Hey, bro, what's happening, man? What's happening, bro? Brody back in the building one time, man. So that got range. We here returning with another 2K video, man. 2K is what I do. Y'all already know what it is, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. Obviously, in the title, we're going to be talking about some Fly God Pride, man. Some Fly God Pride. And I'm also going to be talking about my presidential election results reactions. So, I'm also going to be doing a reaction one half. Uh, I'm going to do the reaction the second half of the video. The first half, we're going to talk on Fly God Pride, man. Because if you guys may not know who Fly God Pride is, he actually is another 2K YouTuber. He has about 80K subs. He's not he's not up there. He's not quite up there, but he's up there. You know, he played against Pretty Boy Fado back then, and that video got really popular. But Fly God Pride, he's still he's still cool. You know, he's still cool. We actually ran into him in this gameplay right here, and I will be showing up the uh, what is it called? I guess the the board, the scoreboard where where it will show his name, and that's the real Fly God Pride. It's kind of funny, man. It's a coincidence, man. It's a small ass world, to be honest, to actually run into another YouTuber on Pro Am Walk On. I was with my bros, and we just so happened to coincidentally run into Fly Guy Pride, you know. So I had to make out a video of this, man. Fly Guy Pride, man. He was a good player, man. He actually put some points up, and I had he had another friend. He was just with his squad, you know. Fly Guy Bink too. I'm not. I haven't heard of him, but I'm pretty sure that he is in the Fly Guy crew. Whatever. If that's even a if that's, if that's even a thing, man. Fly Guy crew, but. You know, I played against Fly God Pride. It was pretty cool. Like I said, he played good. You know, it was a good game, but we did beat him by like, I had, I don't know. I don't want to say the, I, I really don't know what we beat him by, but I'm pretty sure it was like almost above 20 or maybe between the 15 and 20 range. I'm not too sure. I don't know what the, you guys will see at the end of the video, but man, Fly God Pride, man. Nice, nice meeting, you know, nice playing against you. But nigga, man, I gotta call you out, bro. I gotta call you out, bro, man. I ain't trying to get no clout, man. I ain't trying to get no clout, but you gotta expose, nigga. You gotta expose, boy. You gotta expose, boy. Now I'm on your ass, boy. Your little salty watermelon looking ass, boy. Your green apple snapple head ass, boy. I'm on your little fly guy pride head ass, boy. I'm on your tissue box body ass, boy. Now I'm on your ass, but nah, for real though. Gotta call you out, man. See me in the park. See me in the pro am again, man. We we gotta meet up with each other again, man. We going we one and all right now. My team and I, we one and all right now against you, bro. We one and all against you, bro. Come see me again and make this two and all, man. We beat your squad. My squad beat your squad, man. We we gotta get two and all, man. We gotta get two and Come see me again. You know, face face the fury, man. Face the fury, man. Face my squad. We gonna throw up shots on you again, man. I have my stretch big out on them. I'm telling y'all, man, this Demi guy stretch big that I made, I was not playing with him at all, dude. I was not playing with my Demi guy stretch big at all. Like, when I said I was gonna for real make myself a Demi guy, I said it how I meant it, man. What I say is what I mean, man, for real, on anything. But, you know, man, Fly got pride. Like I said, pride, man, you gotta come see me again. You got exposed in this gameplay. You're gonna have to get exposed in the next gameplay. See me in the park, wherever it is, man. Add me. You know, we could do a little 1v1, $100 wager and whatnot, man. Let's do this stuff, man. Let's bet on this game. For real, though. I'm trying to win me some money beating your ass again, bro. But, yeah, man. Fly got pride, like I said. On a serious note, he played good, to be honest. I definitely got to shout him out, though. Definitely will put his, you know, his link in the description because he was a very great player and all and whatnot. So, I will leave his link in the description. You guys need to check out his videos as well. Shouting out the dude on a more serious note, man. But I, I would like to play another game against him. So it was kind of fun, though. It was honestly kind of fun just seeing, just being able to experience the feeling of facing another YouTuber, even though they might not be up there. Like Pretty Boy Fredo up there, like a million subs, almost two million subs up there. But like just seeing that it was another YouTuber we ran, we ran into, and it's just like that, that stuff, that stuff, you know, for real, it touched my heart a little bit because it's like, damn, man. It really is a small world, and we running into YouTubers now, so that's kind of crazy. But again, on a serious note, man, I would like to play him again, but I will leave his channel in the description below. If you guys want to check out his content, it's pretty cool and whatnot. Flag got pride. It was a good game, good prime game, man. You played good. You threw up some shots. You got your points. That's all good, but you got exposed, nigga. <laughs> but anyways, man, let's move on to the next topic that I listed in the title, man. 
the presidential election results. Now, I'm pretty sure, you know, a lot of people are reacting towards it. I want to be one of the people to react to it because I want to get some things out. So, if y'all, before y'all ask, who was I, who was I voting for? I didn't, I can't even vote yet because I am 17 years old. I will be 18 next year in July uh, 2017. I will be turning 18, so I can't vote yet. But if I were to vote, I don't think I will vote for anybody, to be honest. In this situation, if it was Hillary and Trump, I don't think I would really vote for anybody. Now, people are going to be saying, oh, but it's your, vi- it's, your, it's your right to vote. And I'm black and a lot of, you know, people, black people in the past, people weren't the black people. We weren't really able to have the, I'm not into politics like that, but we weren't really allowed to have the right to vote. You know, we got that stuff later on. Black people were not allowed to have a lot of things, like for real, that, you know, the white people had in the past. And it's just like. I would have, you know, I wouldn't vote for any, like none of those two candidates. It's, you know, congrats to Donald Trump. It's, it is what it is. He won and whatnot. But, um, for real shit, on some real shit, I'm not really interested in what he has to do for our country. This nigga is a, he's turning our country, to be honest, into a reality TV show, to be honest. Because that's what he was at first, a reality TV actor. This nigga was just an actor. Uh, I know that about him. I know, I definitely know he didn't have no political background. I honestly wish that Hillary could have been voted for the most, you know, just being able to win the presidency. Sad to see the dude Obama go out. I don't really know too much about Obama neither. I really don't get into politics like that, but I know that he didn't put our country into a terrible condition, no poor condition like that. He didn't get us into no nuclear war. He didn't. He just didn't put our, you know, country into turmoil like that. And I just know that Obama did carry out some missions like the Osama bin Laden mission. I just thought about that yesterday. He did some really helpful stuff. You know, Obama is nice to see that he was our president for two terms, and it's, you know, it's, I don't know. I'm not really too happy to see that Donald Trump will be our next president. Uh, this is my opinion. You guys can have your own opinions in the comment section below. I don't really give a damn. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can go suck some whale penis if y'all, you know, against me. But, yeah, you know, like, for real. I'm not really too interested in what Donald Trump can do. Uh, Just the way that he ran his speeches, though. The racist remarks, all the shit, man. The racist statements he made. The uh, prejudice he has against other races. Mexicans, you know, build the wall shit. That shit not even funny. Jokes about that shit not even funny. Jokes about black, you know, the black people and fucking Arabic people, like... All Arabic people are not bad. All Mexican people are not bad. All black people are not bad. It's just one thing that somebody within that race or ethnicity will do. Then they just blame the whole race for doing it. Like, ter- like nobody's always going to be a terrorist. Not the whole race. The whole race is not going to be just all terrorist shit. But y'all know what I mean, man. Trump, he could, he could suck some lemur penis, to be honest. I don't like him. I didn't really like Hillary because she was also known for making racist remarks she wasn't she wasn't really the best she i would have picked her over trump but it's like i'm not really voting for both of them yeah i wouldn't vote for both of them because they're against my people they're against me they're against my skin color they're against me so it's just the remarks they made against me and that's really how i feel about it that's my quick little reaction to it because there's not much shit to say about it like fuck them both to be honest but anyways man thank y'all for watching you know subscribe